In the middle of May 1909, Picasso traveled to Catalonia. His journeys took him first to Barcelona, then to Horta de San Juan, or de Ebro, a small village in the country. The village sat at the edge of the Aragon, a rural and isolated area, dedicated to the cultivation of olive trees. It is a remarkably scorching summer, and riots and bloody suppression move the political tides in Barcelona. Though tumult rages from afar, Picasso sequesters himself far from the unrest, painting and living the peasant's life. He writes to his friends and patrons Gertrude and Leo Stein that the way to Orta looked like the overland of the far west. Having just painted Le Demoiselle de Avignon in 1907 and reflecting upon Cezanne's work, Picasso in the spring of 1908 was focusing on landscapes. Early in the spring of 1909, with two landscapes painted in a Paris neighborhood, then in Barcelona, Picasso painted several drawings with houses and palm trees. The exact dates of the six landscapes completed in Orta is not known, but on June 26th, Picasso wrote to Leo, I started two landscapes and two figures, and it is always the same thing. I think I will take photos here and I will send them to you, and later, I will send you the photos I took along with my paintings. Upon returning to Paris in September, Pablo invited Gertrude and Leo to his studio to see the paintings. Gertrude purchases Maison sur la Colline and Le Réservoir. When addressing those who just saw cubes and not houses, Gertrude showed the photos and declared, the paintings could be accused of being copies, too photographic to be reality. In 1928, she published the paintings and one of the photos of the Orta in transition in 1928, with the notion that the photo would help the viewer perceive the landscape, and above all, she would be the first to closely follow the creation of Cubism. She wrote, It was there and then the beginning of Cubism. <laughs> 